we are finally back with our first video in Seattle, our new headquarters, and we are here with Brent and Jeff from IC Stars. How are you guys doing? Great. Good. Good. I'm excited. I'm excited. So you guys just got off stage, so they're a little sweaty, so just don't don't mind the sweat. And uh, <laughs> so we are here on the Screaming Like You Mean It tour, right? So um, how, how are you guys enjoying the tour? I mean, this is the first day of the tour, but I mean, are you guys gung-ho about getting things going? Or? Absolutely. I mean, uh, we've been friends with Breathe Carolina for a long time, did some tours with them, and it's... Uh, it's great to get back together with them and just uh, get our party on, you know? Yeah, definitely get our party on. <laughs> inside and outside the venues. <laughs> <laughs> that and Chiodos, you know? Chiodos, yeah. Big Chico secret fans. And we used to really be into that band, so it's yeah. cool to be out with them. Yeah, no, that's my second question, actually. Um, so you guys probably, you know, we've all heard All's Well that Ends Well and all that stuff. So how is it playing on the actual tour with them now and being peers and not fans? It's, it's surreal. I mean, we literally grew up listening to Chiodos. It's yeah, like, oh, that's the band. Going to their local shows when there's like 20 kids there, just like looking up to them, and now we're on tour with them. So it's playing, playing right next to them. So it's just yeah. like, really? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's super crazy. It sucks that they couldn't come out to the show today, yeah. but they actually canceled on me one other time. I when Denver, we were going to see them, and they were sick again, and I was like, damn you, Chiodos, you got me again. So okay, it's the summer. We have, it's great tours, we got the Warp Tour, we got, you know, every other tour. What, why did you guys choose this tour to do instead of going on the full, like, full Warp Tour? Uh, this tour kind of shows us. Um, yeah. that we, I mean, know we did Warp Tour last year, and uh, we were just going to give it a break and wanted to expand our horizon on touring. And here we are, yeah, it's here like you made the tour 2011, woo woo. <laughs> So I read that you guys like to ha you guys want to have your band have a unique sound, right? Definitely. So how what kind of elements are you guys using or not using to make it a unique sound? <laughs> I think the question <coughs> is uh, what ele elements aren't we using? Um, you know, from the first record, the second record, and going into a third record, um, you know, the limits are just endless. You know, we'll put, we'll put rap music, rap influences in there. We'll put hip hop. We'll put you know, heavy electronic influences from the heaviest to the to the lightest stuff, and we just you know blend it together, and, and whatever comes up in in our writing process is you know what we call the twelve song record. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, along that lines, the end of the world party is supposed to be the heaviest pop album, right? That's what I read. So, I mean, what did you guys do to make it not go, like, too poppy, but too, like, hard? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how could you, how, what what even constitutes heavy pop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, for me, the pop elements are just the, the catchy, the catchy things in it, which would be some sometimes a song's got a catchy chorus or a, or a catchy verse or maybe the whole song's catchy. I don't know, but but just it being you know be able to snap to, be able to to, to sing along, and then as far as heavy goes, I mean it's it's pretty uh, pretty black and white when it comes to what's a heavy part and not a heavy part. I and mean, obviously the breakdowns and the screaming really do that for us. And our whole career as a band has been based around making music that's mixed with heavy elements and, and lighter elements. <clears throat> um, so naturally, that we just it just sounds the way that it does, just because you know. <laughs> so I mean, you guys have been on tours with you know uh, like We Came as Romans and Bring Me the Horizon and all the Warped Tour people. How have the bands responded to you as a band and your sound? Are they kind of like embracing you, or are they kind of like? Um, it it really varies. You know, playing playing in a band in in this we'll kind of call it a minor league. Um, it's a little bit competitive, and most bands won't say that they're into another band that they're kind of looking over their shoulder at, if you will. But uh, you know, we're good friends. Like especially the We Came as Romans guys. They're from uh, from out where where we live, so. It, uh, you know, there's never a moment where they see the band and we're, and we're able to develop an opinion and say, we've been growing up with these bands, so, you know, and as far as other bands go, I, I don't know, you know, some bands, I know for a fact some bands do like, like Icy Stars, and that's awesome, and, 
and whatever, but other bands I don't really know. I have no idea what they think about us. So now is the time to start a beef with a band. So pick a band and we'll just put, blast it out there and you can be like, I hate this band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you guys have a, lo- a ton of fan interaction on like your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, you know, right. having people pick the um, set list and stuff that they want to hear. So how important are the fans to you? I mean, that's... What they are what are keeping us going. That's why we're here right now. Fans really define who your band is. You know, we could make this music, and if not one person bought a record or came out to a show, then we'd still be, you know, still struggling a lot. Obviously, a lot more than we are now. You know, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I actually forgot the question. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll put it in a different direction. So um, so you guys are in your fancy tour bus and your you know crazy beds and stuff. What advice do you have for that band that's out there that maybe is just starting? How would they get fans like this? How do they just start getting people? Because that's what it's all about is fans. You know, there's, there's so many different things that lead to bands gaining success or fans or selling records or whatever. Um, some of the most important things... For us, I feel like is a staying together <laughs> as a band and, and and being able to get along with your band members. You know, I mean, that's I pr- we probably spend more time doing that than anything else. <laughs> um, dealing with each other, and, um, you know, touring constantly, touring. You know, just because you're not on the best tour in the world. <laughs> doesn't mean it's a waste of your time no you're getting out you play in front of one person man and he likes your band and tells his friend and so on and so forth it's the hard days of touring playing in front of five to twenty kids a night and that that happens and that those are things that you just got to grind right on through and keep keep touring keep continue to write music and and never never put yourself in a box never tell yourself you've done it or whatever it's like you constantly need to get better and 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 you will if you keep doing it and uh, stick around keep playing shows and if the music's there and, the, and everything's there then you know success is inevitable good advice good advice so last question do you guys do we have any fall plans do we do we know what's happening in the fall what can we look forward to I might be you might be the first person that we tell this but we're going into the studio and cutting a new record Exclusives. I like it. Yep, I like it, it. There it is. Okay. September to October, we'll, we'll be in the studio. Boom. Well, here you go. There's that. <laughs> All right. So, for sure. Thank you guys so much for doing this interview. It was awesome. And, um,. Sorry you guys are all sweaty, but it's okay. Hey, it's it's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like we were saying, we have a special, special fan out there. Her name is Muriel Kim. She Muriel is Kim. Muriel Kim. She is in love with your band, and I told her I was going to do this, and she was like, I'm having a heart attack. And so um, if you guys can just say hello to Muriel Kim, that would be awesome. All right. What up, Muriel Kim? Muriel Kim. <laughs> Boom! I told you I would do it. So if you want to check out everything uh, I See Stars um, or Screaming Like You Mean It Tour, check us out at monsterinabox.com.